So another failed launch with fake accounts and she has angered proper A-listers like Gwyneth Paltrow, who's had enough. I do believe that Meghan Markle is going to find herself receiving a, you know, restraining order of some sorts at some point. Because enough is enough. Enough is enough. Can you imagine? Do you believe that Bozy was involved in creating all those inactive Instagram accounts? My money is yes. My money is yes, of course. But can you imagine less than 400,000 even with fake accounts, I guess, and the problem that she runs into is that Instagram does not allow you to have a certain, more than a certain percentage. So if she gets to 60 percentage of fake accounts, right now it's a little bit over 51, 50, it's almost 51%. So yeah, it is 51% of fake accounts. So she only has 9% that she can produce fake accounts. So she's gonna have to wait to keep buying more fake accounts. Do you think the royal family is going to interfere? What do you think when Paltrow is going to do? This is just too yummy. It's really interesting as I can reflect on it. I keep my distance from it right now just for my own um, well-being. But the bulk of the bullying and abuse that I was experiencing in social media and online was when I was pregnant with Archie and with Lily and with a newborn with each of them. Um, and you just think about that and you to really wrap your head around why people would be so hateful. It's not catty, it's cruel. By the way, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and it helps um, to expand to other audiences to, you know, to increase the message reach. So thank you for following, liking, sharing, but most of all, subscribing and leave your comments always there. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook. We need to get to 5,000 subscribers, followers there. It's free. So I'll wait for you there, beautiful people. I was going to University of California at Santa Barbara and I was trying to... Nope, she couldn't do it. She couldn't come up with at least one original idea. Not one. And apparently Markle has been, as we always knew, on X for a long time because her American Riviera Orchard, I mean, it's such a pretentious name. It's bad. And remember when they launched Sussex Royal that they got up to 8 million in no time? I think it was a Guinness record. She hasn't even been able to get to 15% of that, even with all the bot accounts that Bosey most likely set up for her. Out of the 300, almost 350,000 subscribers, which is not bad for, for any regular human being, but terrible for Meghan Markle, more than half of those are inactive accounts. And Gwyneth Paltrow is fed up of this woman. So let's get into this, beautiful people. What are you suggesting? Well, I just think some people might say that your Instagram-loving bitch wife actually doesn't want her privacy. How dare you, sir? My Instagram-loving bitch wife has always wanted her privacy. This is a site, a website, that tells you how many real followers there are in any given Instagram account, okay? So this is for American Riviera Orchard. The followers, the real followers, are right now 173.8 thousand followers so 100,000 followers right that's what she has right now as real followers most likely her sicko fans people out of the almost 350,000 uh, subscribers a hundred and a little bit over 174,000 are inactive followers what does that mean that means that those are basically bots fake Instagram accounts most likely set up by Bozy because let's not forget that Bozy runs a bot farm that he does that all the time. So it is pretty brutal for Meghan Markle to have to buy over half of the accounts of her current followers as fake Insta Instagram accounts. It is quite a shame actually. It's quite embarrassing. And only her D-list celebrities are following because Serena Williams eh, has failed to follow her. Oprah, even Tyler Perry's not following her. 
or Kelly Rowland is not following her. <laughs> I mean, ugh. not even that bully married to John Legend. None of the Kardashians are following her. Only Marcus Anderson, Abigail Spencer, Misan Harriman, the very regular D-listers that, that are always accompanying her everywhere. And of course, she does the launch on, and launch is very, very, she publishes her, her IG account at the very same day that Princess Diana, uh, 25th uh, anniversary of um, the Diana Award Foundation um, yeah, anniversary. Because of course, she wants to show how much more popular she is than Princess Diana, but she failed because everybody was watching William and Harry. And Harry, of course, heavily photoshopped. So we have Gwyneth Paltrow now because you've seen that little video of Meghan Markle literally copying, and I mean literally copying, Gwyneth Paltrow roast chicken very appropriately. Um, I don't know how to call it. I mean, and Gwyneth Paltrow is fed up. Gwyneth Paltrow really deeply dislikes Meghan Markle. This is the worst part of it all because truly, guys, Gwyneth Paltrow cannot stand Meghan Markle. And she was livid when Meghan Markle, remember they did that restaurant that it was put all over the news that Meghan Markle was having dinner with Gwyneth Paltrow? No, she wasn't. She found out through friends because the owner of that restaurant, she actually became very chummy with this person because of course this person she knows that this is a celebrity hotspot so this person called her and said guess what Cameron Diaz and Gwyneth Paltrow they're both here and she made her way over there and she locked out that Cameron Diaz was outside and Cameron Diaz is not even looking at her and Gwyneth Paltrow was really really angry that they were associating her with Rachel Meghan Markle I mean Meghan Markle is going to land herself in trouble. And it's very telling that after almost 24 hours, half, more than half of her followers are fake accounts, most likely mounted by Bozy, created by Bozy. It's terrible. She hasn't even, this is 24 hours when it's the major launch. You know that you get a lot of people follow you. You know, you can predict how the account is going to go. It's not going well, is it? If her real followers are a little bit less than 174,000 real accounts. And what is worse is that this woman goes by Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. What happens when she's forbidden from using that title? What's going to happen? But at the same time, it's kind of hard for the royal family to prevent her from using her, that her husband's title. And the reason for why they're going to have a hard time telling Meghan Markle not to use um, the, her husband's royal title is because we have King Charles and even Fergie. Let's not forget Fergie here, okay? I, I, don't, I won't even post Fergie's here because Fergie has been in so many commercial things using the Duchess of York's uh, title. It's not even funny anymore. But here we have the King's, um, how Meghan Markle copied the King's website. Look at them because, they, of course, the king, rightly so, has a crest. And look at that royal orchard. Meghan Markle doesn't have an orchard. I mean, it's very pretentious. But this is how she copies even the, you know, even the, the, the color scheme, the, the, the crest, everything. Because she put this really overly complicated crest that is actually pretty tacky. So this is where we are right now. They, they can't tell her anything, but will the king actually tell her you can't do it? Because actually, you have talked against the institution and called us racist. Is this, again, I've said this many, many times. This is because Harry and Meghan have equated the monarchy and the institution of the monarchy and the royals as being the equivalent of the KKK in the United States. So you know that they have ranks and titles within the KKK. So for example, the Grand Master or whatever. If you have equated an institution like that, why would you like to keep a title from that institution and hawk yourself to that? It really makes no sense. Here we have Meghan Markle's new lifestyle brand is doomed to be yet another flop in her, I wouldn't say illustrious career, I would say in her failed career. Yeah, this is uh, New York Post. It's actually quite embarrassing, guys. And yes, we have her in and Twitter as well, and X, 206 followers. And the followers, guys, are really a lot of people from the Sussex squad. 
and this account was open in January 2024. So that's three months ago. So of course, it's not followed by anyone I'm following. But yeah, so she's been on X officially as American Riviera Orchard uh, since January. This is from a woman who just recently at uh, SXSW uh, just claimed uh, that she stayed out of social media. We all know it's a lie, but just, you know, just to prove a point. You know, and as usual, Andy from 88 POV 88, please subscribe to his channel. Nailed it. This was indeed Meghan Markle. <laughs> Remember that at the, at, the, at the church in England? That was so funny. I swear to God. Did Meghan Markle just admit to being the Grim Reaper at King Charles' coronation? Yes, she was. Yes, she was. <laughs> and here we have Harry fluffing up that little mop he has on top of his head, looking disgusting, uh, heavily filtered. If you look, he has zero wrinkles because he's heavily filtered. Heavily. I guess he's learning from the wife because he knows he's ugly looking. He's ugly looking from the inside and out. And of course, he's making jokes about, oh my God, are you guys don't get into trouble when you go to party. Well, him and his wife announced at the very same time, um, minutes prior to William giving his speech, that Meghan Markle made public her Instagram account. I'm not going to use the word launch. She made public her Instagram account. I believe that that account had been um, around, but she made it public around that time. And then, uh, and I'm sure that many of those Instagram accounts are hers <laughs> as well, because you can't comment. So yeah, and then they announced that NAACP are given uh, a digital $100,000 award in the United States. Oh my God. Well, Princess Diana, where they get 20 people are recognized for their hard work. 20, I think it was. Not one individual, but 20. So Harry again just makes a video link appearance. Oh, I wish I, I, wish I were there. You could have been there. God knows you love private planes or flying first class as long as you don't pay for it, right? So another failed launch with fake accounts and she has angered proper A-listers like Gwyneth Paltrow, who's had enough. I do believe that Meghan Markle is going to find herself receiving a, you know, restraining order of some sorts at some point. Because enough is enough. Enough is enough. Can you imagine? Do you believe that Bozy was involved in creating all those inactive Instagram accounts? My money is yes. My money is yes, of course. But can you imagine less than 400,000, even with fake accounts, I guess. And the problem that she runs into is that Instagram does not allow you to have a certain more than a certain percentage. So if she gets to 60 percentage of fake accounts right now, it's a little bit over 51, 50, it's almost 51 percent. Yeah, it is 51% of fake accounts. So she only has 9% that she can produce fake accounts. So she's going to have to wait to keep buying more fake accounts. Do you think the royal family is going to interfere? What do you think Gwyneth Paltrow is going to do? This is just too yummy. Please let me know what you think, beautiful people.